Hi friends, this is Muhammad Jibran and welcome to our HTML tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can show two different web pages on a single page. So to accomplish that, we'll be using uh, something known as the frame set. Right now, we are uh, the HTML5 does not support this frame set tag, but uh, the previous version of HTML do support it. So uh, let's it would be good just to know it in, in case if you require it somewhere in the future so to declare a frame set we have a tag known as frame set and uh, you can divide this particular frame or uh, this uh, frame which you see on the web page into in uh, two ways that is one horizontally and one vertically okay if you want to divide the plane in the vertical direction then you can use the calls parameter that stands for columns or if you want to divide the screen uh, horizontally then you can go for rows that means <coughs> you want to create a row in the frame so once you have that you can call, uh, close that frame set and uh, let us now create a frame set which will have uh, two columns the size of each one will be 50% and the second one will also be 50% since we are uh, dividing it into the columns so we are not going to use this rows and uh, now I have uh, two parts in my frame so for that my what I have to do is uh, I will have to <coughs> create frame and I have to give the source of the page which I would like to show in my frame set so same one we will do for the second page now these are my two pages which I will be showing in my frame set so I will say left uh, dot HTML my left page will be left dot HTML and my second page will, will be write dot html so just will create these two pages in just a while okay so i have created these two pages this page is uh, left page dot html and this page is right page dot html okay so now let us call this in our uh, frame left page and the right page okay we did not wrote e over here so it's left back okay so now we'll save it we'll save these two files okay fine so now let's run this in chrome <coughs> okay if i could set it over here mm, yes now you can see we have uh, these two different pages this one is a uh, left page and this one is the right page and as you can see we are in the file frame.html where this is our frame.html file in which I have uh, uh, defined a frame set in that I have given two frames one with the left page and one with the right page so this is what you are seeing over here initially when we uh, launched this page then the size of the page or the frame set will be 50 50 which means 50 percent of our frame set or the screen will be given to our left page and the fif remaining 50 percent will be given to the right page but uh, if you want you can resize it the way you want like this okay so this is how you can uh, do something with the frame set uh, the simplest way and now let's try to do some uh, uh, difficult looking task with this frame set so here i have an uh, image which uh, you can create like it will be a different thing to create uh, it's it's different to show just two pages but uh, to do something like this uh, let us this be on a different page this home being on different page this about being on different page registration on different page and this description being a different page so overall we want to show five different pages on a single web page so for that what we need to do is first we will uh, divide our web page into uh, two main pages two different columns 
like this one with the first part and this being the second part and then we will leave this first part we'll call a page over here and in this second part we will again divide this into two different rows and then this first row we will divide it into three different columns so how we'll see that in just a moment let me go back to our notepad and over here first of all let me clear everything and uh, what I will do is uh, I will make it 20 and 80 so what I'm doing over here this part being smaller I'm assigning this size to be as 20% and this size being the largest one I'm assigning it as 80% so once we are done now I can have uh, two parts in it that is left and uh, this one being the right part okay so for the left part I need to have a frame and the file name I will give as left.html and then for the right part as you can see over here I don't have a particular page I want this page to be divided more further so for that in place of giving the uh, right page I will define over here one more frame set frame set and then now this will be divided into rows why because I want this part to be divided into two rows this one will be the first row and this area will be the second row so this will be again 20% and 80% uh, okay so now we have a frame set for our right side so yes we have it now this frame set in this frame set we would uh, get two lines get two rows which one first one is the upper row and the second one will be the lower row and now we want our uh, where is it? it here it is we want our upper row to be uh, divided furthermore so before that what we will do is uh, for the lower row we will create a frame whose SRC or the source will be the D E S C R I P description dot HTML. Okay. So this page will be our description dot HTML. And now I would like to break my upper part into uh, some more partitions. How I will do it? I will make one more frame set that will be of columns because I want it it to be uh, different columns or uh, so we'll close the frame set and now within that now I want my this frame to be divided into three parts so we'll do it we'll make it 30% 30% and uh, the fourth one will be 40% so now in this frame set what I've got is three different pages so which will be like this here I have my first page this will be my second page and this will be my third page so <coughs> we'll create the frame over here say just copy it For the first one, I will say home dot html. Second one will be Sit in the car, dude. about dot html, and the third one will be registration dot html. So now we have all this files, and uh, we have closed all this, all of them. So <coughs> here you can check. Uh, this frame set is closed by this last frame set and this frame set ends over here this frame set ends over here 
so first let's create all of this file files that is left.html home.html about.html and the registration.html let me uh, remove all this okay fine so we are good to go now i have already created all of these pages uh, these are just HTML pages, nothing else. You can see for the left.html, I have just created three links on it. And in the home.html, I have just written home. In about, nothing. In just registration, just registration. In description, nothing. That's it. So what we are doing is everything over here. So if I save it and uh, let's run this in Chrome. And here you can see we have... <coughs> the format created as you can see on the left side we had these three links with the home about and registration and then description in the center so if you see we have the links in the left side home about registration you can design these pages the way you want but uh, just for be, uh, keeping it as simple as possible we have done it like this so this is how you can uh, do an com complex designing in the HTML page using the frame set. Hope you understood what I wanted to explain to you and uh, thanks for watching the video.